Hi, in this video I am going to discuss about Audacity 4, the next major Audacity release, the next major Audacity version. And you can already see that Audacity 4 Alpha 1 has been released. So we can actually now test Audacity 4, how it is going to look like, how to work with it and how to mix our next steps with Audacity. So if you go into this URL audacityteam.org slash next, then you can download the Audacity for Alpha and please remember this is an alpha version alpha means that is generally released for a small group of people to test some of the core features but audacity has released this alpha to public so we can test and plan our next step ahead and if you download and install this alpha 4 please remember that it is not for professional work it is not ready for professional work yet it is kind of testing you kind of have a feel of it how to work with it but do not use for your project for your professional project till now just yet do not use that and also do not open your existing projects in audacity 4 that can have that can corrupt your existing project so you can see that there is a note on comp compatibility here that projects saved in audacity 4 are not backwards compatible we recommend you make a copy of your important projects before opening them in audacity 4 so that is a important point to note remember that if you install audacity 4 do not open your existing projects in audacity 4 you just install and look at it uh, how it how it works and how you can plan your another thing is you can download this from this URL or if you go to the downloads then you can see that on the right side Audacity for Alpha download files if you are using Windows, Mac or Linux you can download the appropriate file from here I have already downloaded and installed it so let's see how it looks I will open Audacity 4 from my okay so when the Audacity for Alpha opens, it also shows a pop-up with some of the information of this. Please go through this so you will understand actually what are the changes here. I will also show you in this video what are the changes. I will click OK and you see it is a completely new interface and you have to open a project to work with. So I will click on new project and this is the interface now. It looks quite clean and nice and now it has the concept of workspace so this is the classic workspace i can go in this drop down and i can choose another workspace for example if i want to work with music then the music workspace would suit me or if i want to use modern i can use the modern workspace and with the modern workspace you can see the meter has been on the right side so now you can also save workspace you can create no new workspace and you can arrange your things like that previously what happened in Audacity if you make any changes that would apply to every project but now you can actually create new workspace and switch between workspace so it's flexible that is a nice feature and let's see what happened in the audio setup this is the audio setup this is the same if I go to recording device, I can see which microphone I have selected and then the audio settings and such. So the audio setup is the same as before and not many drastic changes here. And let's see how it looks if we record. So this is the record button. I click on this. So the recording has started and an interesting thing you can see that the recording now is started from the place where the cursor was that is interesting and i will delete this so i'll take the cursor here and if i record you can see the recording is starting from that cursor point so that is one interesting thing also during recording you can see that uh, it is possible to add some gain or something i'm not sure how this is working so i think that will actually be effective on the during playback and if I double click on this slider, you can see it is going to be 0 dB. You cannot input, change the input by from the keyboard, but if you 
take the slider this way then you can change but sometimes it can be very difficult to precisely point to 0 dB so if you double click any point it will go get back to 0 dB that is nice and we do not see the recording meter in this place the recording meter is now here so if I now talk record and talk then I'll see the progress in the input level from this mic icon that is a different thing and I think I have recorded in a stereo channel I'll close that so I'll delete this and record again so now the recording have been started there and I also want to monitor my input level I can do that from uh, this record level and I can change this and I do not yes it is affecting some of my voices maybe I'm not sure or maybe it is not affecting any of the levels yet okay so I'll stop okay so this is how you record and let's see how what happened with the effect uh, the effect is not all the effects are available yet but I see the effects like EQ and filters we have the graphic EQ not the filter cup EQ yet noise removal and repair we can see the noise reduction for noise reduction I have to select something and go to effect noise removal and noise reduction yes the same old sliders uh, this is going to work with this same way we did in the previous versions and we can also see the compressor that is only important yes the compressor looks a bit different but it works the same way as we have done before and i can see the presets from the previous versions are there and on another important thing is the normalize and you can see the all the settings from the normalize are from previous versions but it has got a different look and then an important thing is export so you can see the export functionality or the interface have been changed a bit and I can choose the format from here if I see the wave or I can select mp3 so you can see the all the options are as before so not so not much change uh, in regard of how you are going to use this if you have used previous versions of audacity you are going to use this one quite confidently because the features and the functionality are quite similar and there also have been uh, changes in the toolbars you can see the previous toolbars of envelope tool and other things are not present so they have made some changes there and if i go to view there is no toolbars uh, in this way so i think the toolbars have been removed and not all other features are on yet and we also cannot use the macros uh, at this point with audacity for alpha but it is good for okay for recording and exporting audio and also applying some of the basic effects like normalize noise reduction compressor or if you can use the graphic eq all those things are available so it kind of enables us to record and process and get a, a polished audio from it all these features are there and all the other features will be coming so let's see how it goes and i also have started making a course on it or a city four course so if you go to this URL, you can now pre-order the Audacity 4 course for beginners. That course will be 197. But for now, if you pre-order, you can get 97. And with this course, with 97 now, you can get the look into the what in details of the alpha version. I will explain everything in alpha in a beginner friendly way, step by step. And also in this pre-order phase, I am giving two bonuses. The number one bonus is to, is you will have a one hour one-to-one -one consulting call with me. In this consulting call, you can discuss any of your audio issues or your audio goals like voiceover, audiobook narration, how to process forward. And if you are doing things correctly, all such things, you can consult with me in this one-to-one -one call uh, that is free with this pre-order you will also get a personalized 
recording analysis to fix your audio and the way it works like you will send me a raw recording i'll check it and i'll give you feedback that if this audio is okay or not and what are the places you need to improve so you can send me a recording and get a detailed feedback regarding that so if you pre-order now you can you are also getting those bonuses i'll give this link in the description have a check and if you want to learn in details audacity with the current version current audacity 3.7.5 then please watch this video on the screen so thanks for watching